In recent years, growing interest in lunar exploration has sparked renewed scrutiny of the Moon's surface, especially in light of new claims suggesting the presence of artificial structures. One of the most provocative assertions comes from an insider allegedly connected to the Chinese Chang'e 2 Moon Orbiter mission. According to this source, high-resolution images taken by the orbiter reveal unusual formations on the Moon that appear to resemble artificial buildings and other complex structures. If verified, these revelations could radically reshape the scientific and cultural understanding of our closest celestial neighbor. The probe's mission, launched by China in October 2010, was designed primarily as a follow-up to the successful Chang'e 1 lunar probe. Its objective was to further map the Moon's surface with unprecedented resolution and accuracy, laying the groundwork for China's subsequent lunar landing missions. Unlike its predecessor, the newer probe carried more advanced imaging equipment and orbited at a lower altitude, enabling it to capture extremely detailed photographs of the lunar terrain. The images obtained by the mission have been the subject of great interest within China's scientific community and are rumored to be at the center of this controversial disclosure. The insider in question claims to have received a series of photographs from a source close to the probe's project. These photographs allegedly depict geometric structures, angular formations, and evidence of what appears to be architectural ruins scattered across different regions of the Moon's surface. In some cases, the images reportedly show what look like symmetrical buildings or towers, casting shadows that align with their structures, highly unusual formations in what is otherwise considered a geologically quiet and lifeless environment. What makes these claims even more intriguing is the insider's allegation that NASA has actively attempted to conceal the existence of such findings. According to the same source, specific areas of the Moon that may have contained ancient artifacts or advanced technology were intentionally targeted and bombed by the United States. This unidentified source is believed to have direct or indirect access to classified data related to the Chinese lunar program. The images they released allegedly show high-resolution photographs of the Moon's surface, revealing what appear to be artificial structures, buildings, geometric patterns, and signs of impact craters that deviate from natural formations. According to the insider, these visuals were originally intended for internal review, but were shared publicly due to concerns that such groundbreaking discoveries were being suppressed. The images were first circulated through various social media platforms and forums known for discussing space anomalies and extraterrestrial theories. The source claimed that China was preparing for gradual disclosure, but feared delays or interference, prompting the leak. By choosing to remain anonymous, the individual likely sought to avoid legal or political consequences, especially given the sensitivity surrounding national space programs. This assertion refers to controversial NASA missions such as Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite, which involved crashing a projectile into the Moon to analyze the resulting plume for signs of water ice. While NASA presented this mission as purely scientific, some theorists argue that the true motive was the destruction of anomalous materials or structures. The claim continues by stating that certain impact zones on the Moon, visible in the Chinese probe's images, display signs of high-energy detonations and nuclear-like craters. Accompanying debris fields, according to the insider, show scattered materials that resemble building fragments, broken support columns, or even machinery. These alleged impact zones are said to differ significantly in appearance from natural craters formed by meteorites, fueling further speculation that targeted demolition was involved. One of the more astonishing components of the report is the assertion that China is preparing to release these images and related data to the public. According to the insider, China's scientific and political leadership is contemplating a gradual process of disclosure, one that would allow the public to absorb the implications of the findings while preserving international stability. If this strategy comes to fruition, it could represent one of the most significant paradigm shifts in modern human history, opening up discussion about the presence of extraterrestrial life and ancient advanced civilizations beyond Earth. Within this framework, the alleged images captured by the probes are positioned as the first pieces of verifiable evidence to support long-standing theories about the Moon's hidden history. Researchers and theorists have long speculated that the Moon may not be entirely natural or that it may have been used as a base by unknown civilizations in the distant past. 
Across decades of lunar exploration, numerous old NASA photographs have sparked intense debate due to the presence of structures that appear artificial in nature. These images, many of which were captured during the Apollo missions and early lunar orbiter programs, display formations that defy conventional geological expectations. Straight edges, geometric patterns, and symmetrical shapes have led independent researchers and enthusiasts alike to suggest that these anomalies may not be natural at all. While NASA attributes such features to tricks of light, shadow, or photographic artifacts, the precision and scale of some structures, ranging from dome-like shapes to towering vertical formations, raise compelling questions. Could these be remnants of an ancient lunar civilization or evidence of advanced technology from a non-human intelligence? As more images continue to resurface and undergo digital enhancement, the mystery surrounding these possible structures on the moon deepens, inviting speculation that humanity's nearest celestial neighbor may be home to far more than just craters and dust. Whether these formations are misunderstood geology or signs of something extraordinary, they remain among the most captivating elements in the ongoing conversation about lunar secrets. The photographs in question stand out not just for its content, but for what appears to be deliberate manipulation. At first glance, it depicts a barren lunar landscape typical of NASA's archive, but a deeper look reveals a massive angular object partially embedded in a crater. Unlike the surrounding natural formations, this object shows straight lines, right angles, and what looks like structured geometry, elements rarely, if ever, found in natural rock formations. The estimated size of the object is staggering, over six miles long, according to measurements taken by independent researchers. The implications of such a find are immense, suggesting that the object could be an ancient craft or an abandoned facility of unknown origin. What raises even more concern among analysts is the apparent blurring or obscuring of the object. In a time when image enhancement software and digital forensics are more advanced than ever, researchers claim the area around the object seems to have been tampered with. There is a noticeable smudging effect that is inconsistent with the clarity found elsewhere in the photo. If this were a simple anomaly or a natural rock structure, why obscure it? The alignment of the blurred region precisely with the mysterious object has led many to conclude that the photograph may have been edited to hide something extraordinary. Despite the buzz surrounding this image, NASA has remained largely silent on the matter. This lack of commentary only fuels speculation. For decades, amateur analysts have combed through thousands of publicly available NASA images, searching for anomalies that might point to artificial structures or unknown technology. Many claim to have found patterns and formations that defy simple geological explanation. These findings, paired with the Apollo 15 image, have led to a growing belief that space agencies may be withholding information about the Moon's true nature. Apollo 15, launched in 1971, was one of NASA's most ambitious lunar missions. Its objectives focused on geological sampling and surface exploration. However, some theorists argue that the mission may have encountered more than just rocks and dust. The strange object captured in the crater suggests a possibility that something remarkable was discovered, something that perhaps changed the course of future lunar exploration. The fact that no human has returned to the moon since the Apollo 17 mission in 1972 continues to puzzle many. With today's advanced technology, it would be far more feasible to travel to and establish a presence on the moon. Yet decades have passed without another manned mission. Those who believe in a cover-up argue that something was discovered during the Apollo missions that discouraged any further human activity on the moon. Whether it was a non-human presence or the remnants of an ancient civilization, these theories suggest that the findings were deemed too disruptive to be disclosed to the public. Supporters of this theory point to the sudden termination of the Apollo program and NASA's decision to redirect focus elsewhere as suspicious. Beyond this particular photograph, numerous other images from different missions have raised eyebrows. Researchers have identified symmetrical structures, domes, and even what appear to be large towers casting long shadows across the lunar surface. Though NASA attributes these anomalies to natural geological formations or photographic distortions, some observers remain unconvinced. They argue that the consistency of angular shapes, the scale of certain structures, and their seemingly intentional placement suggest a design rather than random natural occurrence. 
Adding to the intrigue are claims from whistleblowers who allege that NASA routinely edits or withholds certain photographs before releasing them to the public. According to these individuals, images are carefully reviewed, and any content deemed too controversial is either airbrushed, cropped, or never released at all. While such claims are difficult to verify, they continue to circulate among communities dedicated to uncovering hidden truths about space exploration. There is also a broader historical context to consider. The idea that the Moon could be home to ancient or advanced structures is not new. For decades, science fiction has explored the concept, and various cultural myths have hinted at celestial knowledge lost to time. Some believe the Moon may have once served as a way station or outpost for travelers from other worlds. Others suggest that it may still be inhabited or monitored by unknown entities. The idea that a massive ship or installation might lie dormant beneath the lunar surface fits within this wider tapestry of speculation. Perhaps the most unsettling aspect of this ongoing mystery is the possibility that humanity is not alone, and never has been. If such structures do exist on the moon, their presence implies intelligence, intention, and perhaps even warning. Why were they built, by whom, and for what purpose? These are the questions that haunt those who study these images and refuse to dismiss them as simple geological oddities. As more lunar missions are planned by NASA, private companies, and other nations like China and India, the hope is that further exploration may shed light on these mysteries. In the end, the true nature of the Moon's anomalies may never be fully revealed. Whether they are the result of natural processes, long-lost civilizations, or visitors from other worlds, they continue to capture the imagination of those willing to question the official narrative.